Hercules, directed by Ron Clements and John Mustard. So the movie starts out with some sassy classy muses taking you to church in their song about the hero named Hercules. In the song, they preach the tale of how eons ago, the god Zeus defeated some crazy things called the Titans. Now in the present time of the story back up on Mount Olympus, Zeus and his wife Hera throw a Habaluba Bam Jam for the newborn baby Hercules. They give Hercules his present, a winged horse named Pegasus. And just then, my favorite character, I mean, the villain of the movie, Hades shows up and interrogates the family. Hades is like, what's up on the downside, my holler and holla hoompa? Zeus is like, not much, my up truck crew stamp. And after messing with the baby and getting joked on, Hades goes back to the underworld to plan a steamy scheme. His two minions, Pain and Panic, tell him that his appointment has arrived, the Fates. Past, present, and future. Ew. The Fates tell him that in 18 years, the stars will align, and he will be able to release the Titans and take over. But if Hercules fights him, he will fail like Shaquille O'Neal's acting career. So now Hades has to change Hercules mortal with a potion so he can be killed. So at night time, Pain and Panic go to Mount Olympus and steal that dang dong baby Hercules. But in order for the potion to work, Hercules has to drink every last drop. But luckily he doesn't. So even though he's mortal, he still has godlike strength. So when Pain and Panic try to take the baby Herc out, he pitches them bamas in a better movie. Psych, this is actually one of my favorites. So Hercules now has to grow up with his new parents on Earth, because only gods can be up on Mount Olympus. And maybe Will Smith because he's cool like that. So years later, Hercules takes his new father to the market, and his father tells him to stay by the cart, and he does it. See? Right there, already fucking up. And because Hercules can't control his strength, he destroys the pavilion. Because of what happened, Hercules is feeling sadder than a weird boo without no anime. So later that night, his parents tell him about his real parents, who are gods. And so Hercules goes to the temple of Zeus to find some of them answers. And at the temple, Zeus is like, I'm your daddy! And Zeus further explains to be up on Mount Olympus again, he must become a true hero on Earth. So Hercules has to seek out Philoctetes so he can be trained. So reunited with his homie Pegasus, Hercules goes out to become a hero. But when he meets Phil, that dude doesn't want to train him because of his past failures. So Zeus answers for him, and they start the training montage. When his training is over, Hercules and Phil go out for a field test. Hercules sees a woman getting handled by a centaur, so he handles that centaur himself. See what I did there with that joke? You know, you see? Anyway, anyway. Hercules falls head over chest muscles for the woman named Megra, or Meg for short, but she turns out to be no good. Meg is under cahoots with Hades, under some agreement for his uprising, but when he hears about Hercules messing up his plan, Hades' face is priceless. So Hades plans to make sure Hercules is taken out for good this time. So Hercules and Phil get to Thebes, and Meg shows up and tells Hercules about some kids who need some help. Watch out man, she's hiding potting you. The kids in distress turn out to be some decoys for some multi-headed being. But with some difficulty, Hercules defeats that monster. And as the people of Thieves watch, they name him their new hero. So then, Hercules becomes more famous than the post on the front page of Reddit and defeats all the monsters that Hades throws at him. So now my man Hades is fed up with all this and decides to move in a different direction, Meg. It turns out that Meg sold her soul to save her boyfriend but he ran out for someone else. Ain't that some business? So now, if she finds out what Hercules' weakness is, Hades will give Meg her freedom. Meanwhile, Hercules is hacking it up with his pops and finds out that everything he's done hasn't been enough to become a god again, which bums Hercules out. The next day, wait, wait, is that? Isn't that Scar? Oh my god, he just wiped his face with Scar. But anyway, Meg takes Hercules and plays hooky to find out his weakness. But it turns out that our boy Hercules ain't got none. And somewhere along the way, Meg and Hercules fall in love. Ain't that something? Phil finally catches up with Hercules and sends him to the stadium. But then overhears Hades and Meg talking about their plan to take out Hercules. And Hades finally finds out Hercules' real weakness, Meg. 
Philtons were weren't Hercules, but they get in an argument. Hercules is like, you look like an old piece of bread hidden under the kitchen stove. And Phil's like, well you look like some photo sandwich meat. He walks off to let Herc find out for himself. Just then, Hades shows up and makes a deal with Hercules to remove his strength for the next 24 hours, with the deal that Meg will be safe from any harm. And so they make the deal. And Hercules is crushed physically and emotionally after finding out the truth about Meg. And so, Hades releases the Titans. Well, all those people in that town are, um, dead. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're dead, um, yeah. The Titans attack Olympus and take out all the gods, including Zeus, leaving Hades on top. Hades sent one of the Titans to take out Hercules, and Hercules goes out to face him regardless of his lack of strength, and he actually defeats that thing. But Meg is hurt in the process, breaking the deal with Hades, which gives Hercules his strength back. And with his strength restored, Hercules saves the gods and defeats the Titans and Hades. But in the end, Meg dies before Hercules could get back. Man, Disney loves to put death in their movies. Death is a real thing, kids. But our boy Hercules doesn't let that Jane go, and goes into the underworld to literally get her back. And because he risked his own life for another, Hercules receives his godhood. But when he gets back to Olympus, he gives it all up to be on Earth with Meg. And Hercules becomes mortal again, and returns to Thebes. And so, using the strength of his heart, Hercules goes the distance, and finally finds where he truly belongs. And that is the Gospel Truth. The End